Welcome back, family and friends, to another episode of Independent Joe. And tonight, what I have for you is a... Not a battle. I'm not going to do a battle. It's just I'm going to taste uh, something new that I have. I, I've had it for a little while. I was actually going to send this in a blind, but I decided not to. Or did I? Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. But um, I was going to send this in a blind. Um, and so I decided, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm going to hold off on doing a review. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to do the review. Regardless if I send it in a blind or I don't, you know, um, I just want to just do it. I just, you know, I, I tasted it already. I like it. And I just want to let you know after opening it like a week and a half ago, I think. I think it's been about a week and a half since I opened it, tasted it. Then I had a little taste the other night and I was just like, yeah, let me let me go ahead and, and, and uh, review it. But um, now that all that is said. Uh, what is 2XO? 2XO is two times oat. Pretty simple. Uh, it, you know, let th this one right here is is a follow up of the two, uh, 2022 release of the Phoenix blend. This right here is the Innkeepers blend. Using the same process mindset as this one it's now we got this one uh, so um not i'm trying not to lose anybody especially myself because uh what they the process that they use for this is is what they did is rebarreled uh two different uh kentucky straight bourbon whiskeys uh, one of them being around 16 to 18 percent rye and the other one being a higher at a higher percentage rye at 36 percent and then rebarreling them in new american oak separately um aging them for for a little while or it doesn't say say how long because there's no nas on this uh those new american oak uh barrels are charred uh one of them will be a char three while the other being a char four what does that mean uh not, I mean, it just means that they rebarreled them and then they put them together and then um, they put them in this glass and now we get to taste them. Last year's version was, I thought, um, almost made it into my top 10 list. Um, I thought it was really good. Um, I really appreciated a lot of the flavors that it gave. I thought it was more of a traditional with that nice spice, nice flavor. Um, a little short, but not overly short. You know, it, it was a little short, but not overly short. It, it, it gave you time to enjoy it before your next sip. So I really like that. Um, uh, the owner of this is uh, Dixon Deadman, as you all should know by now. Um, he used to uh, blend for his own company, uh, Kentucky Owl, and then in 2017 sold Kentucky L to the Stoli group uh, the brand and uh, decided after a certain amount of time I think in 2021 or so he walked away maybe 2020 2020 2020 2021 uh, let me know in the chat if you know for sure the actual dates but he walked away uh, from blending from there and now he in 2022 came his first release of the 2xo phoenix blend which again i really enjoyed it was it's really good came out at 104 proof so not too bad again no age statement so don't know anything about it other than it was it was tasty i mean i don't i don't know about the price point a lot of people say well it, it does taste have that flavor profile of this or that or the other thing there's there's a lot of whiskeys out there so um and i get that you know when you're starting out you have to kind of have a baseline of, of what you're going to charge and um you know with the family name um uh, with the history of blending and people enjoying um a lot of the kentucky owls that were put out um yeah so uh that i mean you get you're, you're getting you're getting a lot of you're getting history so with this right here and that's what this one is based on the innkeepers blend 
uh, because of his family's history in the um, what is it called? hospitality, <laughs> the hospitality industry, uh, that he uh, he kind of using this as the innkeeper, as as I guess as a symbol, the symbol right there, the the light. Uh, you know, being open for, for those customers coming in. And uh, I, I don't know for sure if that's what, what he meant when that light being right here, but uh, that's, that's what I envision or what I picture in my head. But being a part of that, uh, his family history, um, also, you know, prior owners of the famous uh, Beaumont Inn right there down, uh, going down uh, in Kentucky of... Uh, um, the, the bourbon uh, bourbon row bourbon trail so really cool a lot of story a lot of history a lot of information on this so pretty cool pretty cool uh, really appreciate everybody uh, your support all that stuff uh, thank you to patreons thank you for anybody who was a patreon and can no longer be a patreon don't worry about it there's no issues and just I just appreciate your support. You can support just by coming in chat and saying hi and man, I, 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 I'll be happy with that. So really appreciate you guys. Thank you for everything that you do for the channel. And um, yeah, still not going tomorrow, but you know, hey, uh, what well, by the time you see this, it might be today. So I'm still not going today. We'll call it today. Still not going today, but hey, I uh, thought I'd put a video out. I'm, uh, the thumbnail for next Friday it will be out this weekend. Uh, and I'm excited about it for my birthday celebration on, on next Friday. And man, um, I just can't thank the people that are involved in it and that have uh, contributed uh, some piece. And you'll see what I mean once I start uh, right from the start of the stream. Uh, you're, you're just going to see a lot of cool stuff in there that that's just, I really appreciate the people who put a little bit of themselves in that and, um, love you guys. And I, I can't thank you enough. And it's, it's, it's going to be a, a pretty cool birthday. So I really appreciate you guys. So let me go ahead and get in on the nose, all the sentimental stuff out of the way. This one really coats the glass pretty well today. I'm using, I'm not using my gland, but look at that. Oh boy. That is sticking to the side of the glass. Wow, look at that. Now this is just a little pour of, of the Phoenix. Just, I'm gonna taste it. I'm not really gonna compare and think, you know, I'm gonna get too much of a difference because it's the same process. Maybe different whiskeys. I mean, this, they're only, they're, he's using um, two different uh, distillers within uh, his group, so. Um, so we know that it's it's not just maybe Barton or it's not just whatever else he's using. It's it's two different people that he's uh, actually grabbing from two different dis distillations. I'm, I'm assuming. Well, look, we don't know because it's not on here. But you can read some of the some of the stuff that I just read about the Beaumont Inn and stuff like that, and uh, and the history. They actually have that on the back of the of the bottle. So that's that's pretty cool. Really, really nice again really cool uh labeling really nice simple bottle cool story on the back you can pause it and read that if you want to but um yeah let me get that aligned there we go it's a little less light on this side. that's weird it's a light right there all right so let me go ahead and go in on the nose on this one this one's really fruity has a nice uh rich um, I'll say raisin, raisinette type uh, smell to it. Uh, I'm not getting too much cinnamon, getting a little bit of pepper, just, just an overall nice sweet. I'm not getting any uh, of that alcohol punch or, you know, any, any type of offensive aroma. It's just a really nice, really nice, sweet, easy, uh, smooth on the nose I don't know but really nice really nice really nice let me let me smell this one since I have it here see if I could tell if there's one better than the other because to me I, I, I 
after tasting this one and then tasting this one the other night, I was like, I kind of prefer the Phoenix, but you know, who knows? Palettes change. We'll see how well this one sticks to the side like the like the other one. And yeah, I mean, I mean, come on. You, you got the same mash bills. Is it gonna be different? Are you just buying this the second version of this to this? If it's if they're using the same distilleries, same barrel ages, same process, 36 uh, percent mixed with a 16 or 16 to 18 percent rye, high you know high rye mash bills of of uh, Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Are you gonna, if you're using everything the same, is it gonna be too much of a difference? Especially again, if they're, I mean, if this is a different, two different distilleries, I kind of get that. All right, this is this one. So we already see, they both stick to the glass. It's almost like identical. Oh, I didn't even smell it, did I? This, this one does have a little bit more of, a little bit of a, uh, an alcohol aroma to it a little bit of alcohol aroma to it um not too much difference though i'm, I'm gonna say that right now all right let me go in on the palette maybe there's the differences there hold on cheers everybody appreciate you thank you hit the like button hit subscribe if you haven't love you guys appreciate you thank you Again, I I, I I really like this one. This one has a really nice spice to it. Kind of what this one had to. As it goes down, it doesn't dry the palate at all. But as it goes down, you get a nice, warm, peppery, sweet. You get some of those oak tannins in there, but it's not tannicky. It, it's kind of what, like, like I said, I think I said this last year about this bottle right here that it's it's one of those bourbon drinkers bourbons you know whiskeys and and i i feel the same way about this one again a little little short on, on the on the palate and and then the oak on, on on the back end is is there but there's really not too much left over from some maybe some of those sweet raisins or those um you know those craisins you know chocolate and raisins not too much there left from that i'm gonna taste this one even though i'm not doing a i guess i'm doing i'm doing a comparison i don't know let's check this one out real quick there is there is a slight difference this one does have a little bit now that I'm going back and forth, maybe because I just drank the water and then maybe a little bit of presence of water, but can't can't be that can't be to this effect. Um, I, I tasted it earlier, but I had other drinks prior. This is this is first first pours of the night. This one's a little bit more tannicky, just a little bit, a little bit more tannicky, a little bit more oak forward, where this one has a slight fruit push to it. But not not like an extreme difference. I don't think I, I'm glad he kept it at the same price point for one, uh, especially if you're not going to give like age, you know, what's in the bottle type information. You go past 100 a lot of that's where you're probably going to lose a lot of people. Um, I mean, he's right. He's at the at the line. And I know a lot of people who passed on these bottles because they're, they don't, they, they, they want a little bit more information at, at, at a minimum age. If you're not gonna give the exact match, mash bills so that you know people can't look it up, then you gotta at least get, give something, give some ages. I mean, if it's gonna be two year old whiskey, if it's gonna be four year old whiskey, if it's gonna be whatever whiskey, put put an age statement on there let somebody know i mean we got a four year blended with a with an eight year we got a two year blended with a 12 year you know whatever the case is you know that little bit would go a long way when you're talking about 
the common purchaser as such as myself. I mean, when I'm looking at bottles, I do look at um, history. I look at who is blending it, who is providing us with these uh, whiskeys. Um, but at the same time, there's got to be there's got to be a little bit of information that that uh, that I, I get it. You can't maybe you 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 cern you've signed and you've you can't disclose who you got them from. Got it. Age ain't gonna tell me where you got this whiskey from. Put put please people put age on, at, at a minimum on your on your bottles so that we kind of know what we're tasting here. We kind of know where what because this right here it. I don't get age on this. So now I'm kind of in the thought process of, wow, am I paying a hundred dollars for a two year old whiskey that's just blended at 36%. And you know, if I start thinking that to myself, that, I mean, I see this still on the shelves because of those type of thoughts of people telling you, know, letting me know, like, I don't know. I, I mean, I get it. It's it's an it's an okay whiskey. It's nice. It's drinkable. It's shareable. Um, but do I really want that type of whiskey when I could buy a seventy dollar higher proof, more flavor whiskey at age stated? And I won't name companies to compare them to, but you know who they are. So give us give us something. Give us something other than a nice story. Stories are great. They're, they're one of the reasons why we love the people who make these whiskeys, who put them out. But at the same time, um, they're, they're, there's going to be there's going to be that line, and and, and where some some people are going to stop at that line. Say, ah, okay. I'll 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 get a sample from somebody, and then they'll taste it and say, Yeah, I'm glad I saved my money. Whether they believe that in their head or not, they're going to make themselves believe that. So that's just my opinion. Um, don't do it. Do it. Don't do it. That's that's on you. But I'm telling you right now, it age at a minimum. I'll 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 buy it. I I have a seventy four dollar two year old whiskey in it, but it says it on the bottle. Two year old. It's a corn whiskey from Hardin's Creek. Seventy five bucks. Two year old. People will buy it, me, as long as you're upfront about certain things. So, just saying, I mean, it's going to be hard to buy the next one of these, especially if it's the same thing. So, to me, other than maybe a little bit more of a tannicky punch on this, where this one's a little bit sweeter, slightly. It's nice. Same thing I thought when I first opened this bottle. Really nice, really a bourbon drinker's drink. So, I don't know, same heat, nice warmth. Getting a little bit of uh, chocolate on the nose on that one right now as I, I went up with it. Tasting them side by side. Both of them to me are just giving it to me is just side by side is without having a water in between is almost indistinguishable. So in my opinion, um, and, and I, I, I mean, like I said, I mean, they, they, they coat the glass very well. No drying on the palate. You can't ask for more than that because you don't want something that's going to dry you out where you're like oh man i don't i don't want to drink this anymore but this provides flavor and uh it's nice it's a nice pour i don't know i, I i'm i'm gonna say this if this is the same thing and there's no information on the next bottle sorry i'm, I'm just i just can't do it can't do it on the next bottle but i really really appreciate these ones you know um i don't know it's 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 up to everybody who who buys uh, their their whiskey. Me, um, I, I I like something where I know something about the bottle, and um, I that's I'm gonna leave it at that. Really appreciate you guys. Sorry if I went a little off on tangents and stuff like that. And this video went longer than whatever. 
you know, I always do it. It doesn't matter. But I really appreciate you guys. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the birthday wishes, early birthday wishes. My birthday is exactly on the day I'm doing the live. So that is my birthday. So be there, be square. Really appreciate you guys. And um, yeah, um, I, I, I like them. Bottom line, I, li I like these. Um, I wish they had more information on them. Bottom line. <laughs> I just wish they had more information on them. I, I, I would like to, if, if it was a two-year-old and a six-year-old blended, I'd be like, wow, that's a lot of flavor for a two-year-old whiskey. Wow, that's a lot of flavor for a four-year-old whiskey. To me, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting like a four to six-year-old whiskey somewhere in here. Um, I'm not getting much more age than that. But if that's the case... Hundred dollars, and I and I would understand why you don't want to put a four to six year old whiskey on here because then people are gonna be like, I'm not spending that much money on a four to six year old whiskey. Again, going on a tangent, just throwing it out there. Um, but I like these. <laughs> Bottom line, let me get off of here. Really appreciate you. Have a good morning, afternoon, good night. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the love again, again, and again, and again. Blah blah blah. Love you guys. Thank you. See you on the next one. Cheers, everybody.